welcome to a Brawl modding tutorial. By popular demand, we're going to be doing Stage Studio. Uh, what you'll need to do first is go in the description, go to this link, and you can see that Zane has made a beautiful program. It's got a great interface, looks just like Brawl, as far as I can remember. It tells you everything you need to know, but I have this video, so you don't need to know that. I'll just tell it to you. So click on the download button and save this file. You can download it, but I've already downloaded it. Once it's been downloaded, you'll just need to extract the data and you'll get this folder. Open it and you'll see a bunch of files, but only one matters. The one that matters is Stage Studio. Double click on that and you'll be greeted by, again, this great application. Uh, by default, it will have the Brawl Stage Builder music playing, but you can also go into Options for the editor and change a bunch of things. You can change the audio temperature, I mean, volumes are, you can, you can make it the rock and roll music, whatever you want. Also important to note are these two functions. We'll talk about those later. You can load a stage you've already made in Brawl, or you can just make a new stage. That's what we're going to be doing now. So click on New Stage. There are three sizes of stages, small, medium, and large. We're going to choose large because there are some things you can only do on a large stage. I'll talk more about that later. You can choose any background you want. The only problem I have with this is probably to keep the file size down. You can't listen to every song. You can't listen to any song. So as long as you know what song you want, just choose one. You can easily, once you click, you can't click anywhere else, but you have to hit enter and change the name that way. This is a lot faster than doing it in a brawl. Hit enter, comment. Uh, you you can actually put your own custom image for the stage preview. And what you'll need to do that is uh, just turn it on and you just load any image. Basically, the image has to be around 160 by 120 pixels, but images up to 640 by 480 will be scaled down. I'm not going to put one in because I don't think I have an image file that's going to work. We can see. Let's go to my pictures. Shoot that outfit. Holy carp. Okay. Hit enter and you're ready to go. Basically, what you'll do is use all the stage structures that you've had before and select these. Click on these. Click on here and it will place. Hover over an object and right click will get you to copy it. And you can put it as many times as you want. Right click from this and you'll get out. Click on something and then right click will delete it. Throw something down, click on it. You can hit shift to flip it. You can hit tab to resize it. And you can, of course, delete it. Once you have a correct number of parts that you want for your stage, you can go all the way down, maybe add a couple features, what have you. And if you go to the very bottom, you'll see spawn points. Now, before in the normal editor for Brawl, the spawn points just automatically go on objects that are uh, flat, so you can't save a stage with only one thing. This is similar here. You have to put these on top of something that will spawn. So let's put player one here. You can put player two here. You can put player three here, and player four here. So when you spawn, these are where your players are going to spawn. Now, why did I choose large? Because I'll show you right now. Go to stage options. 
Actually, first you're gonna have to go to editor options. And we'll talk about these now. This button toggles between the standard limit, which is quite small, and the 252 limit, where you can have 252 objects. You'll never need that many objects, so you might as well just keep that on at all times. This one disables the boundary restriction, so what we're gonna be doing right now, we need this to be on. So turn that on and we'll talk about it as we go. Go to stage options and go to medium. Hit OK. Now if we zoom out by scrolling out or clicking on this zoom out button, we can see that there are objects outside of the playable field. That means we can have walk off ledges, which you couldn't do with the stage builder before. So you can go ahead and make walk off ledges or whatever. Another important fact to mention is that if you do that, just like this with pieces, but with spawn points, if you put the players to the right, they will instantly die for the first time. I don't know why anyone would want that, but if you want players to be instant kill, make it large, put them outside, and make it me medium or small. That's basically it for making a stage, so we can go ahead and hit OK, and we can start the saving process. You're going to want to save this to uh, desktop or whatever. The only thing that matters is you save it as st underscore uh, tutorial stage dot bin. It'll automatically save as dot bin. Once that happens, it may crash, it may not. Either way, your file is here. Mine reads as a Photoshop document. Why that is, I don't know. But what we'll need to do now is open up your SD card, go to RSBE, and make a new folder, if you don't have it, called ST. Go in here and just drag and drop your file. Put that file in there right now. Your file is in Brawl when you put this in, and you can just go to the Stage Select screen, go to Custom Stages, and your stage will be there, all made up. An important thing to note is you can stack items in the editor. So you can have like a staircase on top of a block. It can look cool. Uh, of course, you won't be able to walk on those stairs, but you can do a lot more crazy stages with the stage builder. And again, thank you to Zane and his beautiful program for all that he's given us. Thanks for watching. Check out my blog to vote on the next tutorial. Probably gonna be Bonad, who knows? And check out the description. Thanks a lot.